Hi guys, I'm KSFK. So recently I was invited to beta test the upcoming Alchemy Stars by Tordog Studios and Tencent Games and it's very weird to know that I have been invited to do a closed beta test. Well, I did sign up for it but I was never really expecting to get in. <laughs> and well, I got to try out the game and here are my thoughts. So first of all, the beta ran from May 20th to May 26th. I played a little bit each day for most of the beta test, but I did not get to play every day because I have been swamped lately with work and stuff. It actually took me about 24 hours to realise that I'd actually gotten into the beta test, so <laughs> I'm really sorry about that one to the developers, that is my bad. But I am going to explain my thoughts on the game. First of all, this is not the final game. I was not playing the final game. I was not playing the 1.0 version. I was 0 0.9 something. So this is not, the footage that you're seeing in the background is not the final game. If anything happens in that footage that doesn't match up with the final game, that is completely fine because the final game is not out yet and I was not playing the final game. Wow, how many times do you think I can say I'd not played the final game? I also want to clarify that this video is, I don't know why I have to say this, but this video is not sponsored or anything by any of the parties. This is not an advertisement. This is just my unfiltered thoughts after having played the game myself. So basically Alchemy Stars is this grid based RPG kind of deal, it's a little bit like, it's not real. it's actually not like anything I've seen before, it's a very unique take on the grid based RPG where basically you have this tile set and there are four different coloured tiles and as you walk across those tiles that have to be connected by colour either diagonally or cardinally so if you pick one green tail to walk on you have to walk on nearby green tiles to get your move on that turn and any units you have who have a green element will attack if they walk past enemies while you're walking past green tails. Same for blue tails with blue characters, red tails for red characters, and yellow tails for yellow characters. It's a really simple gameplay aspect that is actually harder to explain than it is to just show you. So if you're looking at the gameplay in the background, which by the way I did not record a whole lot of gameplay for this video, I am sorry. You're going to see the, the same map done like over and over again. That is like the gist of the gameplay, there are character skills and stuff and you can move again if you move a certain number of coloured tiles in one turn. It's really interesting. I actually had a lot of fun with the game in that aspect and the game also has really varied character designs, very like Arknights-esque character designs, like there are some characters who are like animals and there are some who are like humans and there are some who are like like demons and stuff you know that kind of dynamic that Arknights had is also present here in Alchemy Stars and the story I wasn't like super hooked on but I had only played the first chapter of the game so I wasn't really paying much attention to the story in my defense so the story might be fantastic for all I know but from what I did see of it, I thought it was cool. I wasn't super like hooked on it, I wasn't like really engaged wanting to see what happens next, but I did like it. And the menus felt super snappy and really easy to navigate, other than the fact that sometimes the game would just try and connect to the server even if you really weren't doing anything that warranted it connecting to the server, which my Wi-Fi has been a bit spotty recently and I have to use my mobile data to just like play the game without having to worry about menuing being a problem. I think this is something that should be addressed. I did tell the developers about it, so hopefully they will address it. Another thing that I would like to have a criticism on is the game does not feel generous enough. Now, I'm not talking about the rates because apparently, I didn't play the last beta test before this one, but apparently the rates were doubled. I was working with 2% 6 star rates, apparently they were 1% before, but I don't know for sure. But apparently they've been doubled, yeah, so in terms of the gacha itself, it's seems pretty generous but it felt like I was not really getting enough currency to do things with like even things like leveling up characters felt like I was really having to work my butt off just to get like single levels on my six star and five star characters 
But I am sure that if you do work hard, their experience is very rewarding. Of course, I did not have the time to really sniff the roses with this beta test, so I was getting through it as quickly as I could manage it. Any of the free time I had was basically just spent playing this game. <laughs> but I guess that means it was pretty addicting. Um, yeah, I was kind of hooked on it, but I do feel like the lack of generosity in terms of currency did kind of make me feel less compelled to keep playing because it never felt like the gap was thinning out between me and certain objectives like leveling up characters or you know like doing pulls in the game. But those are basically my only criticisms and those are things that can easily be fixed over the course of the first year at least. So I guess I'd just go on to who I would recommend this to and the people I would recommend this to are definitely Arknights fans. If you liked Arknights you are going to adore alchemy stars like oh my god this is like basically tailor made to be like a new game for people who like Arknights between the varied character designs the kind of sci-fi-esque story with fantasy elements and really just like the gameplay in general there's even like a kind of a kind of hideout feature that's very similar to what Arknights provides for you using like your base to interact with your operators and stuff so it's very like tailor-made for an Arknights player I think. It was probably the biggest inspiration for the game, though I'm not sure, I'm just hypothesizing. All in all, I thought Alchemy Stars was really fun. It's a really good candidate for one of my new side games, considering I recently uninstalled like Dragalia Lost and Blaze Blue Dark War. So I do have a hole in my heart that Alchemy Stars is very quickly working its way to fill and I simply cannot wait for the final release sometime in June of 2021 I think. But yeah, thank you again to Tencent and Tordog for just letting me play your game. It's very surreal to have been picked to beta test the game. And I am hoping that the changes that were suggested by myself and the other awesome beta testers do make the final game because because we're working together to make this one of the best gacha experiences of the 2020s. It is one of the freshest games out there and I hope you'll all play it when I do. But until then, be excellent to each other and party on.